Okay, it's time for the weekly ice bath. Okay, start the timer. You want to go next, Aunt Ellen? What's the temperature? <laughs> it's about 50 degrees. It'll cool down to about 48 with the ice now. Oh. Mm. So my Aunt Ellen is visiting today. She's over there. I'll show you a picture of her. Um, and I think she thinks I'm a little crazy to do this. <laughs> so she wanted to make her own little video of me getting into the Nice bath. Okay. Go have a good <sighs> chilling experience. It's already been one minute. See, there's only 10 more to go. How bad can it be? <laughs> it's good for you. Good for you. Here, you want to put your hand in here and see how cold yeah, it feels? Yeah. That's the best way to see what it's like. You know, that, you know what? That would be really good in Arizona. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the warmer it is outside, oh the, my gosh, that would be perfect. the better it is. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Thank you. So my aunt is here. She called me the day before yesterday and said, I'm up in Washington, the, uh, Washington State. How about if I pop in for a visit tomorrow to see my mom? So they haven't seen each other for quite a while, well, three years or so. So I picked her up at the airport yesterday and they're hanging out. I'm gonna go to Weatherby's for lunch. They like to eat ice cream because it reminds them of their childhood and their years of going to Fenton's in Oakland for ice cream. And uh, let's see, we're gonna eat hamburgers tonight and we're gonna eat Mexican tomorrow for lunch. And uh, Aunt Ellen leaves um, Saturday afternoon. So, oh, the shivering has started quickly today. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but it's kind of windy and a little misty up there, wispy clouds, almost like a fog layer. Um, so I don't have like warm sun on my face and I am already shivering. I was going to do this about an hour ago and then the gardeners arrived and I remembered doing this with the gardeners on the other side of the fence and it was horrible with all the noise so I've been just hanging out for the last hour and uh, here I am. Woo -hoo. Cold as fuck today. Mm. Mm. So I'm seeing my daughter Paulina on Monday. She's going to be here. I'm going to meet her and my ex-wife, her mother, Carrie, in Berkeley. We're going to spend the day together and uh, eat some good food. And I think we're going to some gardens to look at nature. And it'll be a great day. It's always a great day when we get together. Ooh, really cold. Mm. So this fucking ice bath is dedicated to Miss Bree. Miss Bree. Miss Bree B. Um, Miss Bree is someone I met six months ago and she's a new friend of mine and um, uh, she's a beautiful woman who I really have enjoyed spending time with um, over these last six months whether we're talking on the phone or in person 
Um, what to say about you, Miss Bree? Well, you're really beautiful. Um, so the things about Miss Bree that I love is uh, she's whip smart. So uh, we can have conversations and I'm always impressed by, you know, her take on things and how quick her mind works. Um, so it's always fun, always fun. She's very unpredictable. And uh, I kind of like that. When we hang out for the night, uh, I never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I never know if and when she's gonna show up and when she does show up, what exactly is gonna happen. And I certainly seem to like that quality of the feminine and she has that. is really cold. Um, but the thing I love the most is she's very generous of heart. Um, you can just feel it. Um, she just is a gentle soul. And um, yeah, I find that so attractive. Um, she's not a hard, hard woman. And we're both um, cancers. We both have birthdays coming up in July. So we're both very empathic. We're moon babies. And uh, uh, I don't know. So we're different in a lot of ways, but we're also similar in a lot of ways. And uh, anyway, so Miss Bree, it's been wonderful spending time with you. And I look forward to spending more time with you and um, I'm really, really glad, happy you're in my life. You have made my life much more enjoyable and pleasurable and interesting. So uh, thank you. The <laughs> shivering and the discomfort of this ice bath is sending all this energy, this good, clean, pure energy to you. That you have a great, uh, Great day, great year, great everything. Okay. Oh Lord. I do find when I'm this cold, it's hard for me to put thoughts together, get distracted. It's like my mind doesn't want to work just wants to experience so now the Sun is shining on my face what a gift that is Ooh, thank you thank you for that uh, and the birds making a noise Ooh. Just finding my Zen. Oh. Okay, I'm feeling better now. That sunshine has really helped. The shivering has, oh, there it is. It can be quite uncontrollable if you just surrender to it, <laughs> which is what I should be doing, not trying to not shiver. In case you missed previous um, episodes of this video series, um, shivering is very good. That That's my body responding to the cold naturally and it shouldn't be something that I should resist. 
but rather encourage. So, I have a new day trading buddy. <laughs> so my morning routine is I get up at 3.30. 3.30 before is uh, Nespresso. Look at the news, look at Facebook, look at Instagram. And then uh, 4 to 4.15, I'm marking up my chart, uh, getting all my computers turned on. Then I head over to the health club. I do 30 minutes on the elliptical. 20 minutes in the sauna, come home, take my shower, finish it off with my cold shower. Then at six o'clock, I got a guy I listened to for half an hour, so I put him on my AirPods, and then I make coffee, and I get dressed, and um, take my supplements, and wipe my Nag Champa incense, and put my cactus in the window, and open the window so the sun can shine in, and all these things I do so that all systems are go by 6.30. Anyway, the last two days, this guy was in the sauna. He comes in after I'm already in there, and he was looking at charts. So we started talking, and he's also a day trader. He trades different stuff than I do, but um, we both made some recommendations. And Anyway, he's a younger guy, and way more confident than I am in his abilities um, but the last uh, couple days my trades run four for four so uh, that's great I'm on to something all that matters is that I execute properly and then the results are whatever the results are but if I execute properly the results will the odds are in my favor so the focus has to be on the execution, particularly getting in and uh, and keeping my hands off off the mouse and let it let it run its course. Okay, now it feels quite good. The sun on my face makes quite a bit of difference. Whatever happens after like eight or nine minutes where the water just feels it's almost like it's, it's almost like I'm not in freezing cold water. It's a long way to go for like five minutes of <laughs> bliss because <laughs> at 15 I have to get out. Okay, we're at 13 minutes, so I only got two more minutes to go. And then I have to get out. Oh, I made an, I wrote a, a article and I made a video called, uh, uh, is rideshare driving good for your brain? So being the, the son of a mother who has Alzheimer's, I'm very aware of memory and keep questioning, you know, is my memory good? Am I forgetting things? And it turns out that rideshare driving is very good for my mind, my brain, my memory, because it's challenging my mind and my memory all the time. You know, I'm driving, I'm looking at a screen, I gotta engage with the passenger, I gotta engage with other you know, cars on the road, don't get into an accident, make sure I'm going in the right place. So I'm just challenging my mind and that's a good thing. It's way better than doing Sudoku or, you know, Wordle or a puzzle on the New York Times paper. Um, so I was really happy to uh, you know, do a little research into the effect of, you know, video games. And, uh, and, and driving is very much like a video game. Um, some of it is, is actually, you know, on the screen and then, you know, I'm driving. Good to know. For fuck's sake, FFS. 
FFS, for fuck's sake. It's already time. Okay. <sighs> Gotta get out. It's 15 minutes. Here we go. 